Hello everybody and welcome back to another prime time episode how to build a 105 Thunder Chief 10 minutes at a time okay people I'm done goofing up I have got this figured out okay after I had to cut two more sets of ribs because the other ones they, since I moved them, uh, it was the wrong size. <laughs> they need to be a little thicker. They didn't match. So, I got ribs all over the garage. I'm tired of cutting ribs. Guess what? I got them fit, though. I got them fit pretty good. Got me a clamp down here. That's exactly on a 45. Okay. Now what we're trying to need to try and do is uh, put them things in place without them moving. Then we're going to sit down and watch the zombie movie. You know, watch the last week's now. <laughs> you guys see that? I, I was on the news or internet flash or something, but the cops somewhere. This guy was running away and tried to shoot these cops, and his defense was he thought they were zombies <laughs> coming after him. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Oh, no, he's Some people. Very I would never say I thought that officer was a zombie. <laughs> Dribble a little bit of poxy on these things. Let them dry at that angle. Ah. Now, as soon as this epoxy sets, I'm going to make my jig. That's going to enable me to make these retract boxes the exact same size without going through this fitting process. I'm going to take a piece of plywood and cut it. That's exactly seven and a quarter front and the back. And then I'm going to put it down there, take that gear out, put it down there, glue some box of wood on the inside so I'll know where to put them rails. I'll have to do it on both sides so it works for the right and the left because them rails are not straight. People, I tried to get them rails on a 45 here, and you can notice they're, they're not quite a 45. I tried and tried and tried. Man, I'll tell you what, these ain't just a straight set of gear going in there. Them things angle and whoop. And, uh, man, once I get it figured out, <laughs> I, mean, I got it figured out now, but 
Once I get all my templates made, it shouldn't be an issue no more. You know? But I'm still going to lay up that clear wing. I uh, just got to do it. Uh, it's going to tell me a whole lot. Take me a couple days to do, but be worse than in the long run. You know what I mean? Never burn. Now, the, the, the trick here is both these axles, if you took one long axle, and both these wings are on, they should line up perfect. I'm not adjusting any toe in them or nothing. We can, if we want a little toe in, we can probably do that with the gear itself. You know, but there's a little bit of room there in the gear plate. But I'm, I'm just going to mount them dude straight for now. And our axles, bam, should meet in the center. Hey, Butch found the old movie of his V58 Hustler. Look at my favorites. And I, I was uh, scrolling across there the other day and found another one of the Southwest fan fly that someone else made. I put it in my favorites. Uh, go check them out. A couple of pretty good videos. The one in uh, Southwest Fan Fly, people did an awesome job putting it together, man. It, it just really looks fantastic. I was really impressed. But, oh, yeah, he's got the F16 on there. <laughs> Along with a lot of them other nice old jets. That was there this year, participating. But I thought I was going to get one laid up today, and I just couldn't stumped by this and didn't ever get to it, but I'll do it tomorrow. It's already too late tonight, but the zombie shows are on. You know that zombie shows are my favorite. <laughs> Ain't nothing beats a good zombie movie. Except maybe another zombie movie. But I got all these trim perfect. I put the other piece of my mold on here and tighten them down and these are all perfect now. They are just absolutely perfect. And I think when I do do my foam, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big patch of carbon down where the gear and all this goes. Give it a wide footprint, you know, so them ribs won't show through on the inside. And uh, take my car, my foam up to these places and let the uh, ribs go all the way to the carbon you know there won't be no foam in between that uh, if I gotta glue these in there and then glue my foam in uh, whatever I gotta do you know I'm still I gotta see that foam in there that sure takes some weight off these planes if I can take a pound off each wing that's two pounds baby And put my carbon where it needs to go. You know. We'll get it figured out. I'll get it figured out this week. I got all week long. Sit here and work on this thing. Thanksgiving weekend. Back to work tomorrow though. And get back in the working shop too. <laughs> Quit that loafing, that going. Someone told me that the other day. Quit the loafing and get back in the shop. Man, you guys are hardcore, man. You guys ever catch yourself blowing on a poxy to help drive? <laughs> well, go check out Butch's B-58 Hustler. Man, that's a cool flying jet. 
He gets a nice fight on it, greases it in, hits the drone, shoots. 